Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, I'm here for episode 21 of Card Fight Vanguard GZ. Now, guys, there's going to be a lot of uh, screenshots from this episode. And that's not stating that there's a lot to cover. There was just a lot of good imagery, a lot of good scenes in this episode for a filler episode. That's right, guys. This episode was entirely filler. There was no major fight, no Chrono versus Giza or anything like that this week. So, without further ado, let's get into the episode. So the episode starts off actually really nice. It's been a while since we've seen these guys. So, um, Planet Cray is rallying, getting ready to fight, um, the enemies. I'm trying to think. My brain just died there for a second. I am sorry about that. So yeah, Planet Cray is getting rallied, ready to fight. And actually, technically, we see this imagery first, and then we see the prior one. But it all works the same in all reality. But yeah, so we see them getting ready to um, fight. And then we move right along into getting a close-up of our wonderful Asha, our Regalia, our Gurguit. We also get to see Skullheart and um, Gabrielle. All the good decks. Um, Dran starts talking about the past villains of... Of what they've had to face nothing too major and then they all rally and say by the name of Messiah because this this episode is amazing it's probably the best episode out of the entire season I give it a 9 out of 10 I'm just gonna give you the rating right away but um so for all those people that don't think Dran and Chrono Jet are the same unit well I hate to burst your bubble but at, right after the scene Dran literally evolves into the one the only Chrono Jet to create his own future, so stuff it, get over it. So yeah, Dran evolves, or uh, goes into the future by using timely shenanigans. Um, we also get Giza; he sort of shrinks up and launches into the relics of nothingness, and just sort of says, "Yep, bye." And yeah, that's sort of it. He uh, launches the relics and black gunk starts falling from the sky. Uh, we get the side cast in pretty early. They're, just, they're talking. And then they see our wonderful ally here that got his butt handed to him last week. And he's like, yep, I need to deliver a message to Chrono. So come on, carry me there. Um, and then, look at that. Actual civilians outside of the trading card game actually can see Giza. But not for very long, because, well, they were obliterated. I'm going to assume they're dead. Like, right out. The black gunk landed, spread over the thing, and just vaporized. Now, uh, as I go on, I will talk about something in a moment that sort of counters this theory, but I'm going to say they're dead for now. Because Giza's destruction is nothingness, so they don't exist anymore, so... If by not existing, they're dead. Um, Giza also steals the relics of where over over diff stride or whatever it was called happened. Um, I believe it's over stride or here. I'm gonna Google it real quick. Um, what is it? It is diff diff. I forgot this actually happened until now. Um, or is it over diff? It, it has something to do with overstriding. That term that was revealed many, many episodes ago that we have no idea what it was called until now. Oh, dimensional stride or like over dimensional stride or something like that. Um, so yeah. And then we get to see another, we get to see the Statue of Liberty disappear, a whole bunch of places, the Wall of China. And then the power goes out, so we pull out the analog phones to call people, because analog. Guys, this is a telephone that your grandparents probably used if you were really young. Um, they realize that their cell service isn't working because, you know, cell service doesn't work. Because they can't live without cell phones. And as you can see back here, the black gunk is on this building. And then we go to the next scene, and it's gone! Because, poof, magic. This episode's filler. So we have to get the interesting stuff out of the way. 
Um, Tayo and his, uh, um, Dimension Plus friend are being absorbed by the Black Gunk. As you can see, there's Tayo again in his injured self. As he fades away into blackness, as all this Black Gunk just sort of pools over him. And then he starts flashbacking. He, Giza's, like, telling him, you will be nothingness, so on and so forth. And continuing, and he's, like, remembering his past, because this season's all about memory. Remembering who you truly are. Remember the ones you've lost, everyone. You only have a short time. He's made memories with them. He remembers them all. And that's what frees him after he fights a shadow clone of himself. Quite literally, the most climactic fights in this are literally 30 second clips of shadow clone fighting. I'm not even kidding. Like, look at These are all shadow clones. They're all using the same exact decks. It's nothing... Fan cat fantastic about their decks. This is Blaster. Uh, this is um, uh, what's it called? Nova Grappler on Nova Grappler, Kagero on Kagero, and Gurguit on Gurguit. I really like these alternate forms. It would be really cool if Bushiro released a set with like these washed out colors or washed out nothingness, and as a rarity, that'd be really cool. But yeah, so that was sort of all the climacticness of this fight. Um, and it's just all of them dying. This is Gurgwick getting his head ba bashed in by a sword. Aichi defeats his, Masaki, Kai, Kamui. They all just sort of beat them. And yeah. And then we get a rally around the world as all their friends are fighting from all the seasons. You remember these guys? No? Well, he's from Legion, if I remember correctly. I think he's from Legion. If not, well, he's an important part of the series anyways. She is from Legion. She is the most... I love how these people are just sort of... These guys are just standing in awe and all these people are acting normal with all the black sludge around. But our wonderful witch user, Bushiro, please bring her back in the next season. Our wonderful witch user is winning. Uh, Kai's friend just obliterated one. And then we move over into Sidecast Collection. Or Leon and Side... Side cast as they fight their doppelgangers ignore that I don't know what you guys saw but ignore that and then we move along and we get extras fighting because you know they're always good oh I didn't mean to skip ahead sorry my bad so yeah they're fighting doppelganger fightings they finally remember all the way back in like clip 11 or 12 when they when we were here, yeah, that's that was so many that was so many clips ago. They finally get them here to try to deliver the message, and then he just passes out. He he's a pretty bad guy. We wake up, I want to say probably a couple hours later in the hospital, because this is similar to the Link Joker arc where they're fighting units or other guys, but not as cool because they're not actually fighting units. So yeah. He's basically telling Chrono that is still alive, if we couldn't gather that from last week's episode. And then Jamie's like hiding the fact that they're all going to be the heroes of this series, because we couldn't totally see that coming. And then they announce that they're going to go defeat Giza. And they're finally giving an epic speech. Like, finally, the war, the war speech is being made. They're about to be serious. Everyone's just giving an amazing speech. I know these are the exact same slides. They're just giving a wonderful speech. And then Jamie. Jamie stops Chrono mid-speech and stretches out his face. I understand it was for comedy relief, but it makes me very sad that we've gone to this level of comedy when we could have had a really serious, heart-moving speech. It started off strong, and Bushiro, you dropped the ball really, really hard. Um, so, and then our waifu's chrono shipping character punches Chrono in the back. Doesn't even, well, I wouldn't say punch, she slapped him. She five-starred him. If you've ever been five-starred, it hurts. And let me tell you that she did a good number on his back. Um, she gives all of her fighting spirit to these two as well, and she cries in Tokaha took his arms she untalks with his team from prior from the under 20 season and then they all get real serious and stand together 
as they pray together in Jesus' name. We have flashbacks of all of our Empire leaders and our friends. This one was caught mid-transition, so I kept it because it looked cool. And may, may they, by under Messiah's divine protection. That is hard to say. Why, Bushy Road? You make that so hard to say. And they open up a portal. Well, technically, they they summon their overdimensional stride. And then they open up the portal. But, yeah. They all see the warming light. There was literally way too many characters clips to try to get them all. So I got her because she's my favorite character. I'm sorry. But, yeah. So she sees the light. And then Colonel Jones says, Our avatars are coming in. Obviously, Alt, Mile, and Asha look into the horizon as they get ready for battle. They're counting on them. They're going to win the fight. They're praying. Waifu adorableness. Like I said, great scene, great artwork. I wanted it. Chrono's father is cheering him on. Chrono gets there. They're all bowing, and he gets up. And he challenges Giza to the death match of the century. And that's where the episode ends, guys. We get some clips from next week's episode where they're being overswarmed by the weird sludge monsters and how weird it is to fight Trinity Dragon. I really don't know what's going on. But next time, we get to see the epic fight we've been waiting all season for. A fight that should be truly great in this series. Because every other fight has absolutely stunk this entire season i am sorry but every fight was one-sided and too easy to predict please please make this fight awesome with your last two episodes last yeah last three episodes i really don't know how many more episodes they have but we have episodes maybe one i don't know i didn't really look beforehand but we got this until next time guys i've been the silver wolf and this was an awesome episode Honestly, 9 out of 10. Would recommend watching again. Okay, guys. I will see you all later. Peace. Didn't mean to do that, but okay. Well, how's it going, everyone? My name's Silver, and I keep forgetting to add this in at the end of the video. Um, but... I'm doing a card fight giveaway. I, I've i been also mentioning my, uh, what's it called, my Fortnite giveaway a lot as of late. So please, go check both those out on my channel. It would really mean a lot. And like and subscribe if you're new. Guys, I'm hoping we can get over a thousand views on this episode. I, I was really dramatic in it at, towards the end because that's where I felt like it really picked up. And I honestly just love what was happening within the episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and you'll tell me if you did as well. But I'll leave you guys alone for now. I'll see you all later. Peace.